Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Well, the weather has turned colder and the lights and the trees are going up. Yep, it's that time of year again. Time for all kinds of traitorous Catholic groups to appeal to your generosity with Christmas just around the corner. The mailbox is filling up with all of them, all pleading the poor mouth while having hundreds of millions of dollars on hand. But most sickeningly, putting on a Catholic face while indulging in actions decidedly un-Catholic. For example, since I'm an alum from Notre Dame, I get their various appeals for money throughout the year. Now get this, Notre Dame sits atop the 12th largest university endowment in the cosmos and the biggest among Catholic schools, well, fake Catholic schools that is. How big is Notre Dame's endowment? Ten billion dollars. Ten billion dollars. So what do they do with some of that ten billion dollars? Well, they send out to us alum these pretty little Christmas cards. And inside, they quote from the Gospel of Luke. Because, you know, Notre Dame is so Catholic. Nope, no siree, no season's greetings from the crowd under the Golden Dome. They just put right in there things about Jesus because they're so Catholic. What they don't say in their nice little Christmas card is the rest of the year they are spending some of that $10 billion to advance the homosexual agenda, atheism, indifferentism, universalism, and just about any other anti-Catholic-ism you can imagine. Talk about hypocrites. But their hypocrisy pales in comparison to the Catholic Relief Services, which has apparently put their direct campaign direct mail campaign into overdrive. Now, we get one of these appeals, you probably do, just about every week. Sometimes we get them twice a week. This one even has a cheap little piece of metal emblazoned with a girly angel on it. It's a guardian angel prayer, how Catholic, just to make you feel warm and fuzzy about your handing your money to CRS this Christmas. And like Notre Dame, they aren't exactly forthcoming about how much money they have and everything they spend it on. See, CRS gets a staggering amount of money from the federal government, that's right, from Washington, D.C., from all their pals, to pass out in poorer nations in the form of grants. The federal government gives CRS, are you sitting down, a third of a billion dollars every year. Sheesh, I mean, can't we get a little separation of church and state here? Heck, for a third of a billion dollars, it's a lot of money. No wonder it's so easy for them to compromise the faith. I mean, everyone has this price, right? Quite often, when they pass out this money overseas, it goes for very un-Catholic initiatives like promoting birth control in the population control crowd, abortion, homosexuality, and so forth. Now, not always directly, of course, and see, that's the skirt that CRS hides behind all the time. They say the groups that they work with in the poor countries are into all that, and they don't have a choice but to have to work with them. The abuses and numerous accounts of the fake Catholicism of CRS have been noted various times, and this isn't the forum for it, not this time, but this is the forum to call out the chicanery and the fakery of passing yourself off as some kind of noble Catholic venture, with your angel coins and all, to appeal to social justice while at the same time crawling in bed with some of the most virulent anti-Catholic church groups on God's green earth. The head of CRS is now Carolyn Wu, who used to be a respected muckety-muck at Notre Dame a few years ago. Wu's annual compensation at Catholic Relief Services, what's her paycheck for the year? Nearly half a million bucks. And to show you how inbred all this is, this cooperation between government and church stuff, Obama's current ambassador to the Vatican is Ken Hackett, the former head of Catholic Relief Services. How convenient. Oh, and by the way, after Hackett left CRS and began serving, if you can call it that, at the Vatican, he got paid close to half a million dollars more by CRS after he no longer worked there. CRS said it was for former uncompensated work. Half a million dollars in uncompensated work? Wow, that's quite the clerical error. 
Shouldn't he have sort of brought that up while he was still working there as in, uh, hey, fellas, I'm checking out my, uh, my, my paycheck here, and it's about $500,000 short. You have to be very careful who you give your money to. Just because it says Catholic or paints itself as Catholic with pretty little cards bearing scripture quotes or cheap angel coins doesn't mean it is Catholic. Give your hard-earned money to organizations that actually believe in God, heaven, hell, sin, salvation, the Catholic Church, and the supernatural. Notre Dame's investments are doing just fine, and heck, as long as the CRS crowd is going to keep doing the bidding of their government overlords, well, they'll be rolling in cash for decades to come. Neither really looks like they need your money to help weaken the faith. They're doing just fine without it. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. Hello, I'm Ryan Fitzgerald. And I'm Christine Niles. Have you heard of Real Estate for Life? If you're buying or selling property anywhere in the world, Real Estate for Life will find you an agent who shares your values while donating to the pro-life charity of your choice, at no cost to you. The donations we receive here at churchmilitant.tv help cover costs of running this apostolate. For instance, they paid for the cost of the beautiful gold gilding for the altar you see here in our studio chapel. So please, check out realestateforlife.org today and help promote the pro-life cause.